hi and welcome to my channel from wherever part of the world you're watching from my name is teacher faith mogedi thank you for stopping by today's tutorial is the most requested tutorial especially in my country where we are uh, students are approaching to sit for their final uh, exam and i know this tutorial this a piece of video is gonna help majority of the students, especially now that they are preparing for their final exams. Now, there is one thing that I have come to realize uh, if I try to flash back uh, the time that I was a student and now that I have been a practicing teacher, most successful students are not necessarily the intelligent or they are not necessarily intelligent than others however what i have come to realize is that these students that are successful are focused they are more disciplined and they have developed a winning strategy habits and those winning strategy habits are the ones that we are going to discuss on this tutorial on this video okay so please stay tuned and this information is very important if you know a candidate somewhere uh, please do share this video because you never know that what change it is going to do to the performance of that person or that candidate so today i want us there are so many um, winning habits that a student can de can develop but today we are going to discuss on general habits that a student uh, can at least develop so that they can be able to perform all the subject very well so Today, I want us to discuss 10 basic uh, winning habits that a candidate can try to practice even at a time like now when we are remaining with only one uh, term and become successful. And I remember I have said it is not of must that this student is intelligent than others, but just to be more disciplined and try to practice this winning habit so there are 10 of them we are going to discuss today and i will give you the bonus of five so before much ado if you're new here hit the subscribe button share if you can and remember please to turn on your notification bell so that every time i upload a video you'll be the first one to see it winning Habit number one, review every new information learned daily. That is point number one. And this one is supported by the saying that repetition is the mother of all studies. So every time you learn a new information, make sure you review that information until it sticks in your long-term memory once it sticks in your long-term memory it will never escape so guys make sure every new objective every new information you learn it doesn't matter which topic it doesn't matter which subject make sure you review it that very same day so that it will be easy for you to remember every time right point number two write everything down put it down i always insist to my students that every time you're doing your personal studies make sure you involve at least two senses or two activities 
you must reason, you must see, you put it down. If it is possible, you can even taste. <laughs> of course, if it is safe. <laughs> right? So, make sure that you put down everything. Don't assume that you're going to remember. You're not a computer. No. You put everything down. It doesn't matter how simple you may think it is. But put everything down. And I assure you, you'll never get it wrong. Like when you're doing your studies, some people, some students, they just take the book and just as if you are reading a magazine. No. You should be enthusiastic. You should involve all your body parts. You see, you hear, you put it down, and so on and so forth. Point number three. Have a weekly or a timely schedule. Schedule is very, very important, my dear viewers. Schedule enables us to make decisions that are not affected by the decisions of others. If you have your own schedule and then you follow strictly to your schedule, I assure you it is going to be wholesome. When we are talking of timely or weekly schedule, we are saying that you need now to organize yourself according to your school calendar. All right? According to your school calendar, we know there are so many events that take place in a school calendar. So you need to have a schedule because they are all important. They are extra curricular activities, they are academic activities, they are regional activities, they are social activities, they are family issues like for those who are in, in day schools. So you need to put all those into account when you are making your weekly or timely a schedule so that you are not going to do things out of your schedule. Schedule is very important. And I am telling you, these students that perform know that they are very intelligent than others. I have seen it is because they have developed winning habits. And these are the habits that we want to discuss today so that you are not boofed by the peer you are not being discouraged by others you have your schedule and you, you gonna never break it and you follow it to the letter all right point number four block all possible distractors because before they come distractors I will repeat that so that you get it. Block all possible distractors before they become distractors. That is where we fail as students or even as grown-ups in our real life. Right? What are distractors? Distractors de depends with, with, with the individuals. Because my distractors are not your distractors. There are some people who are easily distracted by the slightest noise. And, but there are some who can even stand the inner when they have, I, I don't know. But you need to identify which is that that distracts you. Is it boyfriend, girlfriend, relationship? Block it before it becomes a distractor. Huh? Is it mobile phone? If it's the mobile phone, the, if it is the mobile phone, then put off all the notification. Because sometimes when you find the student, they are standing, they are putting their phone just there. Then you see a notification. Hi, miss you. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. Distraction. Block all possible distractors before they become distractors. Others, they put Kiveri in the desk. Now, every time you try to study, to write down, you remember, oh, I can have a, a little bit of bite. You open, you are distracting yourself. So, if there are possible distractors, please block them when you are studying. 
so that they are not becoming a distraction to your studies. Another point is that standing in short, standing in short blocks of time. Short blocks of time are more effective than trying to focus or to stand for a long period of time. And again, this one, it will depend with the individual. So, but it has been scientifically proven that short block of time is effective to all learners rather than trying to focus for a couple of hours. So please make your standing as short as possible. All right. Let's look at the next point. Develop a good standing posture that enhances your memory and learning. For example, you sit upright, you lay your sword up and your shin so that now the blood can flow smoothly and that enhances your memory and learning so don't just lean on the table you're attracting you're tempting yourself to sleep no uh, my, uh, next time you just uh, just stand there like, no 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 you just stand sit up light pull your shoulder up lift your shin so that now the blood can flow to the brain to and fro. Remember, to and fro, so that there is good blood flow. Next point is that break down lunch or long or big tasks into smaller ones by using different references. I usually insist there is no standing that is taking place when you are just using one reference book. You should have at least three reference books. That is how you are able, that is how you are able to break down complex tasks into smaller ones for better understanding. Remember these are winning habits that make students successful and not that they are necessarily intelligent. Another point I can never ignore you know, because it worked miracles during my time when I was a student. Rewind yourself often day. You maybe you're asking, how can I reward myself? No, there is those things that you love doing. Rewind yourself. Like sometimes you stand so hard and now you want to relax. You can just go to your mobile phone and turn and go straight to my channel and watch my videos. That is another way of re rewarding yourself. You can go and have some exercise and go out there and have fun with your friends. Every time you achieve your objectives, rewind yourself. Tell yourself, when I do this and I become this and I do this, then I have to rewind myself. But the majority of the students think that rewinds come from the parents, from the teachers, from the school, from blah, 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 blah. You need to appreciate yourself by yourself. By the way, you need to love yourself. Love yourself first. Okay, if you don't love yourself, no one will love you. So every time you achieve it, it doesn't matter how small it is. It is only you who know the effort that you had put for you to achieve that uh, little uh, uh, achievement that you've gotten. So rewind yourself. Please do rewind yourself. And rewind doesn't mean that you have to spend. No. Just do what you think and that makes you feel good and feel loved okay let's look at the next winning habit manage your stress otherwise you are going to develop 
performance anxiety. Performance anxiety is very, very bad. So please make sure you are able to manage your stress. This one can really affect your performance. You might be a performing student since day one, but you can mess up these very last days because you are not able to manage your stress. It doesn't matter. If it means you sing, just sing. If it means you jump, jump, but you need to strategize. You need to develop ways of managing stress. This one affects a lot of students. Please make sure you manage your stress. Another last point, point number 10, be consistent. I know the majority of the students, they have their personal timetable, but they don't follow it. They are not consistent. Today you are standing, tomorrow you are blah, blah, blah. Today you should be consistent to your standards. This one is very, very important. So you need to be consistent. On to our bonus points. <music> video but more and more are coming especially now that our candidates are approaching their final exams so please if you find this video helpful give it a thumbs up share and please remember to subscribe so that we can grow together and make our performance better than before it's a bye from me I love you so much. See you till next time.